Straight up, straight up, straight up, get in there, OC. Do this. Yeah, did you actually have sex when we got out? That was Oli. That was the question. No, no, no. So why, so where did our cop come from, though? The whole what? The whole talk as regards you. You know what, honestly, when I left the house, I was shocked. Why? Because of, I saw all of the stuff that everything had been saying. I was like, what? Are you serious? That was the biggest. And for me, still, I haven't yet gone through everything. Like, I'm trying to protect my mind. Like, because it just seems so much. I'm being bombarded with things left, right, and center, left, right, and center. But no, I didn't have sex with him. And so I you guys feel, just made out? Yes. Okay. And it was under the duvets. And I feel like if now That's I had my time differently, yeah. I would have just taken the duvet. I would have just been doing it. Yeah, on top yeah. of a duvet, do you know I mean, what I mean? Kissing him on top of the duvet, kissing him, hugging him, like, do you know what I mean? Like, so we was, why did they because they're really aggressive on that duvet, so yeah. Certain, oh my god, so <laughs> those certain <laughs> items you are referring to was a prank. The is really it, was a, strong. it was a prank <laughs> played was by the do you know what I mean? It was a prank played by EK and mm. um, Diane where they put mayonnaise into a condom and they threw it. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like I Mercy's been very, very good at, like, anytime anything like that is suggested yeah. in the house, mm. she will shut it down immediately. Like, she's like, what? What did you say? Like, she was, you know, <laughs> honestly, her and Omashola, before I left, they had another incident that day. And so I I feel like I was very underprepared when I came to BDN. I've never watched it before. I even tried to research. When I still saw I was getting to another stage, I saw, I was trying to um, watch some stuff on YouTube, but everything was saying it's not available in your region because I was trying to watch it from London. Yeah. But like Mercy, you know, when in the house, she was telling me like, look, I've come with all of my pajamas are onesie so that nobody can ever accuse me of anything. Uh, uh, little things like that. Do you know what I mean? Little things like that. I didn't think of it. You know, so uh, even if there was any speculation around that, she would come out and be in a onesie. Me, I just brought my nighties. I didn't think anything like this in my wildest imagination would happen. So it was a real shock to me and, um, it's just yeah. If I if I had my time again, I would not be under the duvet. What okay. about work stuff? All right. Because um, the there, there was some guys. stuff that broke regarding that you didn't resign from work. You took leave, and then you know you got in the news a bit in the UK. Yeah. You were all again, the that's another thing I haven't yet. Yeah. So what news. happened with that? Did you resign yeah. or you just took leave? And I didn't resign. I followed due process. Um, I. Because spoke they said to my that you asked for permission to go on Big Brother. They said no, and then you took leave, um, like a long leave. And then you still went ahead. That's the story that's going around, actually. Yeah, I mean, I took I took leave. I followed your process for taking the leave, and I told them what the leave was for. Yeah. Um, and they did raise their concerns. Like they raised their concerns for me, and I I took I listened to them. I took them on board. And then when I came to Nigeria for the next stage, I didn't know I was going straight into the house. Like yeah. when I came, when I got to Nigeria, all of my communication um, things were taken from me, and it was like Big Brother house. And I was like, whoa, everything happened so fast for me. And, and that's why I say, like, I feel like. I was really underprepared for this. I didn't know what I was getting into. Yeah, sure. Because, you know, like I said, other people in the house, you know, Mercy had tried three times before coming. Other people had tried, you know, different cities to get in. And me, I just went there on the day to vlog. That's why I went to the audition. Where did you audition? Where did <laughs> um, in Abuja. Oh, okay. okay. So, and I was actually in Abuja vlogging for my YouTube channel for the elections. And the election video, the vlogumentary, I called it, mm. um, <laughs> is, um, is up there. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I was in Abuja. And I just saw the auditions were happening. I said, ah, oh, this will be good content. Because you know how everybody says that you need to know somebody who knows somebody to get into Big Brother. So I just auditioned. I thought, yeah, that's I what probably won't get in. A lot of people were very upset that you and Mike came from London. Mm. Just like, yeah. and they thought there was some, some guru guru wow. going on. Yeah. 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 Some people were saying, no, let's call it Big Brother International. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, people were talking so, about your accent yeah. and everything. So can, we, can, can, we, can we address that issue? Was there any guru guru? What does that mean? Does any uh, any GBT wire? Any dodgy any dodgy behaviour? Not at all. I've she actually got free. like literally. I will put on my YouTube channel. I will upload my vlog. Mm -hmm. It's only when I was getting to the when I got to the next stage. I even said, you know, please can I vlog this because I was vlogging everything up until that moment, and they were like, no, you can't put anything out mm -hmm. before this. So then I didn't. I've still got the video, so I will edit that. I'll put it on my YouTube channel, a cup of coffee. Because so you didn't get in through the back door, do No, and that's why I was so sure I wasn't even going to get in because I didn't know anybody. Okay. Well, well, um, can I ask about the uh, sort of paranoia around Gadoni sometimes? Because um, there were times when you had discussions with him, like you guys had a task one time and you were like, oh, you felt it was giving you distance. And then you cried a bit, and then he hugged you and assured you that, oh, no, baby, it's only you, you know, this type of thing. <laughs> and then Benita yes. came into the house, new babe, obviously, as a guy. You mm. would want to know the babe. This is me, personally. Yeah, yeah, sure. Even if I'm involved, I'd like to still know, look, what, what have you seen so far? Those type of questions. And then she felt, you know, Gadoni was a bit, you know, too 
you know, was with you a bit too much. That's all she said. And then since then, he started trying to, you know, hang out with the rest of the guys. So what was that whole thing about where you felt like she was trying to get your man? Sort of, because that's how it seemed. It's funny. I didn't feel that way. I felt like, um, I said it to Gidoni that it's for the person in a relationship to set the boundaries of what is permitted or not. I really don't like this thing. You know, like when um, a married man cheats on, a, on yeah. his wife with a younger woman or something yeah. and then people are going to the woman and saying, ah, why are you not leaving my husband alone? Yeah. Why this? Why that? And I'm like, it's not, it's actually nothing to do with the woman. It's the husband who made the commitment to the relationship. So yeah. a lot of the time I was complaining at Godoni yeah. saying that it's your responsibility to set boundaries. Like, Benita can actually do what she wants. And I know I said at one point that maybe she's on a task from Biggie, that blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, I, I, in that house, you're, everything is magnified. Yeah. Every single experience is like intensified times 100. Okay, um, so are uh, you and Gidoni, is that thing, is that still a relationship? Is that still going on? Yeah, that, so do you, yeah. Cause, cause you said, you know, a relationship, so do you consider what you have a serious relationship? Um, for me, I've literally been out of the house, like this is my second day outside of the house. So for me, I feel like there's a lot I need to catch up on. My feelings for Gidoni haven't changed. But I just feel like I need to... What are the feelings? Right. Thank you. I, 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 I care for him a lot. Like, for me, and, you know, I, I always said that, even in the house when people were saying, oh, be careful, Lord, be careful. I was like, me, if I love somebody, I can't love 20%. So you love him? I do. So you, I do. I do, I do care him? about him 100%. So we like, say, no, 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 no. Let's go to, let's go to the L word. Do you love him? Yeah, love, 100%. Wow. I do. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. But, 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 but for me, I don't think... It's, it's interesting. No. I'm not even Have gonna, you spoken to him? I, 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 I was actually going to say, so for um, for a lot of women, um, mm. including a lot of you know women in the public eye, yeah. it was quite difficult watching certain points because mm. it seemed like you were way more into him than he was into you, and okay. things that the conversations that we'd, he would have with other people, mm. it just kind of felt like you know he was looking at the whole situation like okay yeah i like her but i think she's like way more into me so mm. it was quite do you, do you okay he didn't say it hey, 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 hey. 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 what i'm saying what i'm saying so is what we saw there were times that I, and i think because every woman um including myself yeah. has been in that situation mm. where you really like someone and you really want you know something amazing to happen and then mm. later on you kind of find out that you know what you were probably a bit more into the person mm. than they were into you so did you have people kind of told you that people yeah said, people have said that and again you didn't say that by the way yeah no no for the that's record. What, I'm, right now. I'm protecting my mental yeah. space right now like i haven't even started to <laughs> girl you get too into much sorry you know what fair enough fair Let me enough just break it down. Like, for me i am a very I'm like, happy stop yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm a really passionate person in like all areas of my life, and love is just another area where I am very passionate. And Aww. if I love you, I really care about. Like I go 100. Do you know what I mean? So that was that. I did love him 100. And in the house, I did see. Oh, you know, that I was. I was. You know, I was. I was with him. Like, and it was funny. It wasn't until he left that it was really evident just how much I had been pouring into him mm. at the expense of my. Experience yeah, there was a lot the of house. telling uh, loads of the housemates problems you had. Yeah, you know, again, for me, I'm just, I'm a really open person. Mm. And because it, there was, it, again, it was such a confined space, mm. I just felt like everybody, you know, I could share, but whoever was there, like all of us were there and I could share with them. And I realized after like that wasn't cool because not everybody was there for me. Not everybody was yeah. in my corner. Not everybody was my person. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Even if I considered them my people. Okay. Like, and, oh, you know? And just before you left, mm. you, had, um, you had a conversation with Mike that yes. blew up. Uh, where he basically asked you to speak to now let's just be clear because mm -hmm. there are different clips circulating he asked you to speak to was it Tatcha? yes okay about oh, okay. her cleanliness mm -hmm. okay and then some people felt like um you didn't handle that the best way now do you think what handle he did it, was what, well what? i think some people yeah some people kind of felt like you didn't handle that the best way do you think what he did was you know okay and then people sort of came for him they said that he should have gone to Tatcha directly oh, but he, for me i feel like you know, if I if I'm not very close to a person, I'm not going to go up to you and just mm. say, you know what, there's certain things that disturb me. Yeah. I'm more likely to, you know, maybe speak to their friend and just say, mm. can you, you know? So what do you think about that whole situation? So does that she whole have, situation, does she have issues? no, like so that whole situation. Um, my issue was not with what Mike was saying; mm -hmm. it's the way he did it. And I said it, and I tried. That's what I was trying to convey to him in the conversation, that you know, um, he had, he just he said he said what he said, but I just felt like. It was a sensitive issue and he mm -hmm. couldn't get he couldn't understand why it would be 
perceived as something sensitive or something that you should treat sensitively maybe not even say sensitive issue 